Good morning and welcome to my channel. It's Terry. And today, you know what? Let me grab this. Today I'm doing a spotlight on an orchid that has been very elusive for me. Um, I got this plant at Andy's about a couple years ago. It was planted in moss. I proceeded to kill it immediately and then I called Andy and he replaced it with a mounted one on a stick. Uh, this is Prostechia fragrance. And yes, it is very, 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 very fragrant. These really appreciate a wet, dry cycle. And I did bring out my book here. Let's see if I can get the Prostechia section out here without causing too much damage. Okay, so Prostechia, their cultivation, generally they like bright and direct light, high humidity. Uh, good air movement Grow them in a pot with standard epiphytic mix of bark with some added moss water regularly while the plants are in active growth reduce during the winter diluted fertilizer Should be added regularly during the growth season and Fragrance Which is right there Formerly in sickly epidendrum fragrance and there goes my mic, but I hope you can still hear me. Curves from Mexico to Central America, uh, low altitudes to pretty high altitudes, 900 meters. Pseudobulbs are close together. La da da, highly fragrant, flowering during spring, long lasting. And yes, it is very, very sweet, fragrant, like. Uh, someone said it was perfumey, but it's like a jasmine -y, powdery, but it's a little more pungent than that. A little more spicy jasmine. And my... But you can see the flowers, pretty typical of of Prostechia, Encyclia, striped lip. This does have sphagnum on it. Does like a lot of moisture in the in the summer pretty much every day while it's growing, but in the winter it likes less, a lot less. Anyway folks, thanks for watching. And enjoy your kids. Bye.